I'm Mark Simeon Ferguson, and you might know me from a couple of bands. Marmalade Circus is the band I've been running for 15 years, something like that. Um, I play lots of worldish jazz. I spent about eight years playing in Latino bands, and I lecture at the university. I've been lecturing there for 20 years. This project has been a, I've approached it a little bit differently to some of the other projects I've done. Um, normally when I'm writing I just hear a melody, I might be in the shower and I'll hear a melody and I go and write it down and, and sit down and work on it. Um, this time I actually spent quite a bit of time um, just improvising um, a lot of pieces, just improvising spontaneously, just trying to get different things. And, as I've been on tour quite a bit, so I've been improvising in the weirdest places downstairs in the hotel lobby in this terrible hotel in Sydney we're staying in, or backstage after the gig everyone else is sitting having fun and I'm sitting at the piano just sitting there improvising, thankfully with my voice recorder on my phone, improvising and singing into it. Then I go back the next day and I'll transcribe everything I, I sang and played and then say, mm. sometimes I'd actually say, wow that actually in itself was a piece of music, and then other things I'll sit there and spend 17 hours turn it into a piece of music. Um, so the process for this one has, a, has been a little bit different. Um, having Julian as the lead voice has given me opportunities that I haven't had probably for a really long time. I could basically write anything I heard in my head and I knew he'd probably be able to play it. Also having Lyndon Gray on the team, same thing, he just can play anything. So I knew the sky there was a limit, I could just do, write anything, the only person holding it back is me. It's like, oh, have I got time to practice that and get it right? <laughs> the main part of the process though is of course, it's Scottish, exploring Scottish heritage for me. Now, I thought, wow, I'll do my Scottish heritage, explore what I knew in my roots. I knew a little bit about my family history, not that, not a lot. And so then I've spent a lot of time talking to my aunties and my uncles and the distant relatives, just trying to find, piece together some of the history. Disappointed to find, of course, that the Scottish ancestry is very tiny and you've got to go back to about 1860 or even earlier to find anyone who actually lived in Scotland. But, you know, the family was from Leith, allegedly, and they um, moved gradually to England. So the actual connection to Scottish music wasn't as strong as I was hoping it was going to be. But some of the good things that did happen is that I discovered some lovely stories. Um, I didn't know my paternal grandfather very well. Um, I knew all my other grandparents quite well, but I hadn't spent a lot of time with him. When I was a child, he was a shift worker. So, you know, it's like, well, Grandpops, he's asleep, you know, let's just be quiet in the house. And so I didn't get a really great picture of my grandfather until a little bit later on, and then I kind of got caught up with my life and didn't spend much time with him. But I did find from everybody else all these beautiful stories about how he was a musician. I didn't know that, you know. All my other, the other relatives were musicians. I didn't know he was. He played the banjo. His family played mandolins. It's like, oh, that was sad not to have heard that from him. Um, and then he was a cheeky little bugger, apparently, too. Um, just, so I've, I've written a, whole, a song about him, just taken all the stories that all the people have told me about him and turned that into a song and basically the sort of crux is that it's like I wish I'd heard that from him, I wish I'd taken the time to sit down with that man and see that he was a little boy once. He was creative and interesting and funny and silly and loved to sing and all that stuff. So that's been beautiful. It's been an amazing project for me. Um, it's been interesting because I've been on tour a large portion of the time while I've been um, doing this and so writing in all sorts of peculiar places and having phone calls with people across the country trying to piece together the stories of family has been an amazing um, experience but I am really glad to have been given the opportunity to, to explore this and hopefully some creative some really beautiful music. <laughs>